Hi everyone, John Roy here with another project video. Now I recently found this 5 watt LED bulb. It was basically thrown away because it's not working. Now this could easily be fixed, but I thought why not do a video to show how you can actually make your own 12 volt LED bulbs. You can also, or even 24 volts, even 48 volts. Alright, but I'm gonna, for this one I'm going to show you how you can actually convert this into a 12 volt LED bulb. Alright, now inside comes this the circuit. I took off the capacitors here, which, which are needed for this configuration. All these things are not really, the diodes are not really needed. Alright, but they can actually stay. Alright, now one of the first things you want to know now when you're going to convert this now is each of these bulbs can actually work with about 3.7 volts. All right, and I'll just show you that shortly how I got based on my experiment. That's what I found out. All right, so here I have an 18650 cell, and with a voltmeter, I'll show you that it's now at 3.48 volts. All right, now on these little circuits, the positive is normally right at the resistor, which is right here. So, all right, these two are not working. I actually got these two got damaged, but I'll show you now connect the LED bulb to it. Alright, so to go like this. And you can see it's, it's lit up. Alright, so one of these cells, I said, can work with, with 3.7 volts, roughly 4 volts. Alright, so if you want to make it into a 12 volts, so since I said it can make it maximum about 4 volts, you would put 3 of them in series. Alright, and that would actually give you now um, 12 volts. 24 volts, you can actually put um, 6 of them in series. Alright, and you can actually add and take away as you want the desired voltage and actually add a voltage regulator. Alright, so as you can see in the circuit, you can actually see where I actually made some marks in the circuit. That's where I actually disconnect the circuit. So to ensure that 3 of them are in Connected in series already. So I just disconnect this and disconnect this part, and then I'm going to solder onto there. All right. So I got a bit lazy. I realized I didn't have to actually solder this one. So I just twined twine the wires on where they could actually twined on. All right. But here I have a power supply now. It's actually 10.5 volts. And if I connect this power supply now, okay. Not working. Alright, so you can actually see all the lights on uh, lighting except the two that I said that wasn't working. Alright. Alright, so it's already now. So negative goes here and positive goes here and Uh, you can see it's light. All right, got it now. All right. And so you can see this is a 12 volt LED bulb, no longer a 110 volts LED bulb. All right, guys. So with this, I wouldn't exceed 12 volts without a resistor or a level volt regulator or maybe even a buck converter and set the voltage to maybe 11.5 volts. All right. All right. Now, a particular application that you're going to use for this now, because this can work between 11 volts and about um, 12 volts. All right. But keep it between 11 and 11.5 volts. All right. You can actually have something like this. That's wired to a 12 volts um, supply, DC supply, and you can actually have a 12 volts light. All right. So you see right here in this little dark corner, and you can see it's a uh, Fairly good enough light. It's off. All right, and there it goes. So, thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for future videos.